What are you thinking? <laughs> I don't know. Just trying to concentrate on I mean, the camera and see that he gets my focus. After how long are you doing this photo shoot? Oh, photo shoot I do at home, hmm? but uh, I do it with my hair that I've bought, which I think is my hair. So what happened? Tell me the story of <laughs> I called you up. Uh, for this role in film yeah, signature. it's it's uncanny. You called me at a time when I'm just getting my infusion, and the nurses are standing on me. Mm. And I know you're in the USA, so when I see it go on a care USA number, I was like, he's calling me because it's urgent. Mm. You know, because we don't call and chat. Hey, hey, what's happening, Dad? Yeah. So I said, let me answer this. So I take it and. Um, you start saying that, you know, I want you to do a film. And I say, you know, uh, I would love to do, but can you wait? And you say, no, 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 I can't wait. Why do you want me to wait? And why is there so much noise in your house? And I said, I couldn't lie because all the nurses were around me. So I said, I'm not at home. Where are you? So I'm like, I'm That's in the hospital. That's not the way I talk. <laughs> You're talking. Huh? Uh, I was nice to you. So, no, <laughs> surprisingly, ever since I lost my hair, I was getting a lot of calls for... You know, like web series and this and that. And I was like, God, why am I getting calls now when I don't even have hair? So, so, what so I didn't next? tell them. Okay. so you. But with have... you, I just can't like not tell you that I don't want to do your film. So hmm. I said, okay. And you started rattling off the role and he's like, this is a and you're like this and like this and then you have to pay this. And I was like, okay, are you going to do it? And I was like, yeah, but no, but are you going to do it? So I was like, okay, but I need to talk to you. Hmm. So then I spoke to you in the night and I told you that, is it okay if I come to the sets with a wig? And mm. you said, why would you come with a wig? And I said that I've lost my hair, I've just gone through treatment. <laughs> I don't know, it just gets emotional. That's okay. I think you're the most courageous person. I just want to thank you for being okay with it because I thought I should tell you that I'll be wearing a wig and then you said why even a wig why can't you just do the film just as the way you are and I said I don't know if I have the courage and you said I think you do <laughs> so I just think it's so nice when did to... you discover that you have breast cancer uh, no my, my breast cancer I didn't have any symptoms I do a you know, like a yearly test for myself where I do my sonography and blood tests. You know, the yearly checkups, it was an annual checkup where my person who was doing my sonography said, I think you should go and get this checked with uh, Dr. Mandar, who's mm -hmm. an oncologist. And I know about him. So the minute I heard that, luckily I had a friend with me. I never take anyone with me when I do all these yearly checkups. And so I went and met Dr. Mandar and he said, uh, we'll do a biopsy, but it doesn't look anything. Mm. These are cells which are pre-cancer cells. It's mm. called DCIS. And sometimes they become cancer. Sometimes they don't become cancer. Mm. So it's up to you. Do you want to remove them? And I said, no, no, no. I'm like, take it out, take it out. So we did a biopsy and it didn't come cancer. Mm. It was negative, but I still wanted to take it out. So when we took it out and they did a biopsy of the entire cells that were removed and tissues, they found tiny cells, like a tiny portion of cells that had already become cancer. Mm. And so he said that when you were in this uh, surgery, we put a port. Mm. So I still have the port here, mm -hmm. you know, this raised bit, and then you mm -hmm. have these veins which are going in. So they said, we have to give you chemo. And then I started crying. And then my sister was like, it's treatable. Doctors mm. saying it's 100% treatable. Mm. You know, these are very, very early cancers. And mm. that's the one thing that, you know, if you catch it early, cancer is treatable. And my sister was like, why are you behaving like a 17th century woman? Why are you crying? I mean, the doctor's like, good news. And you're crying. Mm. But I think we're just so terrified of the word cancer. Mm. Which is why I, I didn't share it with my parents. Because they're so wonderful. They are like... I live with them and they're like, especially my mother is like, she's very vulnerable last two years. She's been with nurses. So I said, I just went and told her, mommy, I have a lump in my breast. So I had it removed. That's why I didn't see you for 10 days. And her blood pressure just went up and down. And she had, 
she was passing out and then by the evening we had to take her to the hospital so what what do you feel now you shot for two days for the I, I feel so good yeah uh, yeah so is there what do you want to tell women who who discover suddenly because i think i learned from the women huh. i learned from a lot of women who were coming to chemo and they were like oh i'm going to work straight from here mm -hmm. and i was like really mm -hmm. why do you have to work doesn't your company give you an off during them this no no they gave us off it's completely paid for and all mm -hmm. but i don't like to sit at home i like to work when i'm doing this it just makes me feel normal mm -hmm. and uh, i was like the not the very brave one i was like everyone in my family was brave like my friends and my sister and my brother and i was like all the time weeping and crying till i met a little boy i heard his voice and uh, he gave me strength and i just looked at him and during my half chemo i went just to make conversation with him and i said are aapki dawai bas itni hai meri to itni sari hai isi se to theek hote hain he said that he Haan. was also getting treated Haan. for oh. hmm. इसी से तो ठीक होते तो ऐसे हाँ लेकिन फिर ना मैं यू नो लाइक बहुत दिन तक ऐसे ही लेटी रहती हूँ मेरे को बहुत तकलीफ होती है तो इसे मैं भी मैं पांच दिन लेटता हूँ बस उसके बाद तो मैं खेलता हूँ उसके बाद तो यू नो लाइक आई एम फाइन आई एम बैक टू माई सेल्फ सो आई वॉज लाइक He actually said beautiful. when I said I don't know if I'll suit uh, you know being on the sets like this. He says you know we don't have real life heroes and that's what we're looking for, and you are one of them. So thank you. He's been so supportive. Oh my God, thank you so much, no, so yeah, much. That, 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 all those people who are listening to yeah. this Mahima Chaudhary, she is the best thing, and she's superb. You need more people like this because no matter how many people you have holding your hand, it's not enough during times like this. So yeah, I I am so grateful to so him. So all of you out. people now have to pray. She's a fine. She's fine, by the way. Yeah, I'm fine. I'm yes. totally recovered. Yes. So and I'm doing well. Thank you. Lots of love. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Cut. <laughs>